How's it going everyone? My name is Hugh and in today's video I'm going to be making two very special gifts for two very special friends of mine and I'm about to go through and show you guys how I made them. And also surprising my friends at the very end of the video. So this is going to be so cool. They don't know anything about these two gifts I'm going to give them. One of which is for my buddy Brian's birthday coming up here on the 26th. And for him, I'm going to do something really cool. Now I know he's a big horror fan. He likes all the classic horror franchises. He does also like some of the slasher films. So that gave me an idea of something I can build for him. Check this out. Now this is just a generic $10 Jason mask I got on Amazon. This is the same exact mask that I used for Mason. Same $10 mask. All I did was just sanded all of this stuff off and then I did a custom paint job, weathering, everything. And we're about to do the exact same technique to this Jason mask. Now I have asked him what action figures he's had based on the Jason franchise and he actually has two. One of them is the Freddy vs. Jason Jason and then he also has the part four Jason. So in this case I did like Freddy vs. Jason although the hockey mask on Jason himself was a little bit too like charred off so like this big chunk was gone and then this chunk was gone so there wasn't really much of a hockey mask to look at. So I think what I'm going to do is, is, is the part four Jason since that's a lot more of a fuller mask and I could be able to add much more details to this um, like what I did with the mason mask. So I had some scars here, the axe cut up here, uh, maybe some blood stains coming out from the mask here. It's going to be really cool and I'm going to get super, super creative on this. It won't be movie accurate, I will say that now, but we're going to base it based on an all-in-one like an all in one package deal for his Jason mask. Now, I also got a gift for Ryan. Now, even though it's not Ryan's birthday, but I actually missed his birthday, which was all the way back in June. I think it was June 21st, and it was on a Sunday. And unfortunately, I had to work, and I wasn't paying any attention to it. I don't think I remember texting him happy birthday. So I'm going to do something very, very nice for him, and I really apologize if Ryan sees this. I'm very sorry, dude. I know I'm, a, I'm an ass hair. I totally forgot about it. I get so caught up in my own day-to-day -day mess. I forget about family, you know, and that's important. Family is always important. That should come first before anything else, before projects, before cars, before shenanigans like this or something for full work family comes first and you know what i'm gonna do something very special for you ryan and i hope this makes up for it and i super apologize for that so right here i got him a lightsaber but not just any lightsaber not some like cheesy lightsaber you can grab off the shelf for like five bucks now this was a about 120 dollar lightsaber custom made by these guys here at kybers and this is also a basic blade series they also have three different types of blades so you can check it out in the description below um, I'll leave a link to their full Amazon page. I think they also have an official website. Um, if I can find it, I'll leave it down there too for you guys. This is totally sight unseen. I've never heard of these guys before. Never heard anybody speak of these guys. So this is all brand new to me. I've never opened this package yet. I just got it today. What I'm going to be doing with this blade is weathering it up down here. Now this is a black hilt, which I will reveal to you guys in a minute. It has a black hilt, full metal body with a dual proof saber. Now how cool is that? For 120 bucks, you can get a very cool low, I almost dropped it. Very low budget, but super, super durable dueling lightsaber that's full aluminum and a very, very tough blade. How sick is that? This, this blew my freaking mind when I saw this on Amazon. On Amazon, an Amazon toy. Like what the heck? <laughs> Where were you guys? So anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to customize it a little bit. Um, not too much. I do want to kind of keep the basis of it. I want to keep it at least dual proof so it feels good in the hands when you're swinging it around, you know. So enough of my yammering. I know you guys don't like me talking a lot. Let's, eh. Let's just jump right onto it. We're going to start with the Jason mask since that's the easiest thing I'll do. And then we'll move right over to the lightsaber. Let's get to work. Are we ready, Mike? <laughs> and kick my chair. So basically to start with the Jason mask, I took a very fine grid uh, sand sponge and just started going over the paint, um, just taking off some of the yellow and also weathering up the chevrons on the mask. This also helped take off the majority of the red from the chevrons and it also made it look like it was scratched up and just worn down over time. So now I'm going to switch out the Dremel piece to make it a cutter 
and I'm actually going to go ahead and cut open the axe cut on the very top of the mask. Now as you can see I used a sharpie to mark out where I was going to cut. Um, I did the best I could to try and look at some photos and references to where the axe cut was going to be. Um, but I usually like playing around with it and just kind of wailing on it and see what I come up with. So I used this little pocket knife. It was very, very sharp and I love this guy a lot. It helped char off some of the excess uh, plastic. That way I can get a much, much nicer, smoother edge. Once I was done with that, I changed the general bit again to a smaller cutter. And I like the same thing I did with the mason mask. I charred up the nose a little bit and I also got some extra little bits and pieces in some of the holes uh, just to give it a little bit more of a weathered and just a worn down look. Like he's worn this thing for a long time, man. Alright, so here's the fun part, painting. I got a cherry red and I got a ebony black right here. And then basically I'm going to take the cherry red and paint over where the axe cut is. Making it look like uh, it was fresh blood that was just chopped out of Jason's head and just started bleeding down the mask itself. The illusion is really cool actually. And I'm using a little bit of a technique of dabbing my finger and using this napkin to kind of help spread where it's drying and where it's still fresh on the mask. Now I had this little bottle of blood laying around so I wanted to try it out and see if I can add a little bit more texture to the axe cut. Um, basically giving it more realism that it looks like it's real blood and not just something painted on the mask. Turns out when it dries it kept the gloss and the thickness of real blood so I thought that was pretty dope. Alright, so now I'm going to use this black ebony paint, and basically what I did is that I dabbed my finger in the little cap itself, where it had a little bit of black paint in it, and I also dabbed my finger in that little plastic red container which had water in it. The cool effect with it is that it gave it the illusion that it was super, super dirty. So see here, if as I'm spreading it on the nose, just raw paint, and then I'm going to take the napkin and help spread it, and then I dip my finger in water again to help spread it all over the bottom of the mask. So it gives an illusion that there's dirt buried on the top of the mask. Once that's done, so I dry brush a little bit more black around the eyes just to add a little bit of extra dirt and grime. Um, like he's been face planted into the ground a lot. <laughs> it's probably not the best description, but whatever. Now that we got the mask done, I'm going to build a little stand for this thing. Uh, so I got a foam head and then I also found this little piece of uh, wood treatment that holds up the blinds for your windows. And I just kind of chopped off a little piece, stuck it inside the bottom of the head and then we're going to screw it onto that wooden plate there. See I took my Dremel and drilled a hole all the way through it. I went into the garage and found a long enough screw that would drill all the way from the bottom into the actual wood piece on top. And it fits perfectly. Now it is a little loose right now, but I am going to drill it a little bit tighter so that way the head doesn't move around. So now we're going to take a little bit of some black spray paint and paint the entire thing, including the head. That way everything blends in very, very nicely. And I just used two heavy coats on both items. Once they dried, both items absorbed the paint very, very well. And while I was at it, I went ahead and clear coated the mask too with some automotive clear coat paint. Just two very, very light coats just to give it a lot more shine, a lot more sheen to it. Now I'm going to go ahead and place this foam head on the piece of foam board there. 
very thin and I'm going to take this razor blade and just kind of cut around the base there so now it has a very soft platform and then I'm going to glue it on the headstand itself so then this prevents it from moving around so if you actually bump into it it's not going to move around very easily that piece of foam will help keep it still on any desk or any uh, shelf Gorilla Glue is like the best stuff for this so I just sprayed the foam piece and then I just stuck it on the bottom of the wood platform. And there we go. We got the part four slash Freddy V Cougar custom Jason mask. This thing turned out great. As like any other like costume or like the Mason mask before, uh, I put a lot of work into this. I made sure all the details showed. You can see a lot of dirt. You can see the scratches. You can see the wear and tear that this mask had over the years. And that ax cut looks so brutal. I am so happy how that turned out. It looks like it's just dried up blood that just came pouring out of the mask and just like stains the outside of the mask and it turned out absolutely amazing. I think Brian's gonna really, really like this. So now let's move on to the next project, the lightsaber. Uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get this blade out of here. So it does come with an Allen wrench so you can remove the blade, which is super cool. And that wire over there on top, you can also charge it with a USB port, which plugs into the very top where the button goes. Now I had an idea where I needed some more silver on the saber. So what I did is I took the Dremel piece and I don't recommend you doing this because sparks went flying everywhere when I was working on it. Um, I just gave the lightsaber a little bit more silver. So I started with the top and bottom tips and just got around the little beveled edges and then smoothed it out a little bit more so that I got rid of some of the black. And now it looks like it has some really, really nice silver tips on the top and bottom. It turned out really cool, actually. There's still a little bit of black sitting there, but that's okay. It makes it look like it was just dropped a bunch of times and there's some purposeful uh, scratches on there. Now I found this pin strip stuff at my local auto parts shop and I'm going to add this on the saber on the top, middle and bottom just to kind of give it a little bit more chrome and a little bit more character to it. It turned out really cool at the top where the tip is. Um, it, I gave it a little bit more layering so then it looks like it's stripes on the top. So now I'm also going to make a stand for this thing too. So I got a couple pieces of plywood and then I got another base platform um, that I'm going to sand down later so it's nice and smooth. But the first thing we got to do is we got to make a, uh, a couple of little pegs to put on top of it. That way it can hold the saber. So obviously I'm on a budget cut so I don't have a <laughs> sharpie in the garage but that's okay. I use this pocket knife to help. So those came out really good. Now we're going to make uh, some little corner pieces out of some of the excess wood that fell off. So like again, I'm using this pocket knife to mark off where the edges are going to be. And then I think I made, I made like four of these. And then later on in the video, I glued two pieces together on one side and two pieces on the other side. We got all those done and now we're gonna make the actual hilts for the uh, blade to sit in. <laughs> I kind of found a Hyundai badge that I got off of Project Betty and I'm actually gonna use that to trace the half moon design on top of these wood platforms here.
I got stuck. Alrighty, there's pretty much all the pieces um, chopped up and now it's ready for sanding. So now I'm going to lay out all my pieces. Now those half moon pieces actually came off of those platforms there to hold the saber. And I wound up using those instead of the triangles. So I put the triangles on the outside and then I put that half circle on the inside. I used a very, very fine sandpaper to kind of make it all nice and smooth. And then I just took the Dremel to kind of get some of those rough edges out of there. And I just did this process over and over and over again. And it took a while to sand all these pieces too. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and glue all the pieces together. So starting with the triangles, put two and two together. And then we're gonna go ahead and glue the rest of it onto the platform. This thing turned out really cool. Now, obviously, I know Ryan is a Sith uh, kind of lover, so I made the blade red, of course, and I turned it onto the uh, pulsing mode for the saber. This is cool. I, I think I want to get one of these myself, just to have uh, displayed in the office, too. But it'll be chrome instead of black. It is done. All right, so we just got done with the lightsaber, the Jason mask, and both stands for this and this. Now that it's dark in here, let me put this down for a minute. Here's the cool thing about this. It has 11 different colors. I don't know if I said this already, but here, if I go through the 11 different colors, I'm gonna put it back to this particular color here in a minute. So if I just hold this down, one, two. Well, that's not the right function. One, two. Three. Yeah, that's what it was. Okay, so now this is yellow, I think, or orange. Uh, no, that's, that's well, that's like a line game, I guess. I don't know. But what I'm doing is I can feel the thing vibrate. So you can let it vibrate three times to change the blade color. And obviously, if you do it twice, one, two, that activates the clash effect. So if you're going to hold, you want to... You want to be able to activate that while you're in a hold with someone. So it'd be like... Oh, and if I just tap it once, check this out. It changes the functions of the blade itself. So this one dims it. This one has a flat or kind of a slow strobe effect. A little bit faster. That's nauseating. But I like this one, like a little bit of pulse going on here. So it's... Let's let's change it one more time. There we go. Now we got a nice color. Now we got a nice looking green here. But this is essentially what this lightsaber can do. I might actually get one for myself just for you know, just for little giggles. So let me turn you off for a minute. Hold on. If you hold it five times, it turns it off. Pretty cool actually. So now that we got both things done, I think it's time to reveal it to the guys. This has been a really crazy um, I, I want to say a three day build because I had to take one day to build stuff for the lightsaber and then another day to build the Jason stuff. I think these turned out really good, but I think the biggest review would be from the guys themselves. So let's get up early tomorrow and celebrate Brian's birthday and also Ryan's belated birthday. Cool? Let's go. Alrighty guys, so I think it's 12 something right about now according to my invisible watch. Um, I just did some final touch ups, so I pretty much just wrapped up everything. I got the lightsaber and it's a uh, little present. And then I also just finished painting up the uh, lightsaber stand. I painted it all black and then actually on the sides, some chrome, some more of that pinstripe that I mentioned. So I just hand painted it because I didn't feel like going all the way to the garage to paint it with a spray can, so I just hand painted it with some uh, acrylic paint and it worked out fine. It's still drying a little bit, so I'm waiting a few more minutes and then we should get going here. That's it, that's all I got. All right, let's go to the, let's go, yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Mike, can you translate that for me? Thank you. All right, so we just rolled up. Let's go ahead and walk over to the place. It's 
surprise Brian with a giant stick. Hola. So I just got to Brian's and I'm about to reveal what I got here for my buddy Ryan. So Do I get to open it now? Yeah, you can eat this Let's right here. This I said it on camera before. This was know. supposed to be for your birthday. I don't know what it is, but I can already tell it's not big enough. Oh, is this what I think it is? Is it a pool stick? What? <laughs> <laughs> it's not a pool stick, it's a lightsaber. Why? Yay! I was close. Pool that was my the... pool stick? What are you talking about, boy? I kept the plastic on because I uh, had to use that to build the other thing in here. This is a RGB LED lightsaber. You can change it to 11 different colors and three different sound fonts. So it works like a uh, Saber Forge lightsaber. It's really cool. So the only thing I did was add a little bit of chrome here. So oh, this you is did like, that? Yeah, I added the chrome. I made oh, this wow. up here a chrome tip and chrome bottom where the speaker is too. So what's cool about is that it comes with instructions wow. of how to change the color, change the sound. <laughs> That's not how it works. <laughs> it's just cool. Ew, It's a gun and a sword. <laughs> so you hold it down, let it vibrate twice. Wait, hold it down. Two, there you there go. We go. So now if you hold it, really stressful. Yeah, if you hold it three times, it'll change the color. Oh. I see one, two is that clash, and then three is... It is changing the color, yeah. Oh, wow. Yep, but what the way it is now, it's in a strobe, so if you just hit it once, where you hear that gun sound effect, it can change the effect on it. Yep. And now it's on a pulse again. There we go. I like pulse. That's it. <laughs> no, it's pink. It wasn't red when I... Oh, there's pink, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what, 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 what? Nothing. Yeah. yeah. That's, yes. That's all I heard. Pretty light. Oh, it's pretty light. It's actually a box. You got a box. Anybody got a knife on them? You got a saber, dude. Oh, do doy! Why didn't I think of that? <laughs> ah, it's a stand. That's really cool, dude. It's actually really dope. So this was all like a regular plywood color, and I painted it all black. Fit, These fits. individual pieces were like plywood, wow. so I chopped them up. Does this come with an arm wrench where you can take the blade off? So here, you got a ah. Allen wrench, some spare screws, and a charger for it. Oh, cool. So it's like a USB charger. You plug it into the wall and charge overnight. And it Thanks, lasts buddy. up to three months. Dang. Without even having to charge it again. Well, thanks, buddy. Thank you, sir. Happy belated really cool. birthday. I totally wasn't even... We're here for his birthday. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> his is right there. <laughs> he hasn't seen it yet. Yeah, like I'm going to show my kids. Oh, that's bad. That's oh. That's cool. That oh, is yeah. a custom-made part four slash Freddy V. Cougar Jason mask. Damn, man. That looks awesome. That is actually pretty good. Man, this looks <laughs> awesome. And would you say this was from, this is the Freddy, guess, uh, Freddy vs. Jason? Yeah, so the scratch marks on the side were like Freddy Krueger scratching his mask, and then this is, the rest of it is part four. Okay. You should try it on. See if it fits you. Yeah, it is wearable. <laughs> <laughs> Just put Jason the glasses, glasses. on. <laughs> mm, There's your, fit, your face covering whenever you go out now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah exactly. Like times worse I mean, you got all these holes and stuff, but. <laughs> I don't know why. Happy, happy Jason. Anything over happy, 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 Jason, happy Jason, Jason, happy Jason, happy <laughs> <laughs> Jason. Yeah, Stu smart Stu Jason. Like Stooge like Jason. Jason. Studious. Studious Jason. Yeah, I like, like this a lot. <laughs> That's the dumbest fight ever. Yeah. I'll just put the mu I'll layer the music on top of that. <laughs> <Just> <laughs> Cake. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> Just because we're all thinking it doesn't mean you have to say it. Yeah. I'm a dirty boy. Okay. <laughs> That's, Come on, man.
it. <laughs> okay, have you seen my wife? I'm looking for my wife. You don't look like my wife. Who's that? Hey, you're <laughs> Griffin. <laughs> you're on the wrong show, bud. You're in the wrong show, bud. <laughs> you almost turned into Heath Ledger know. for a minute. Uh, <laughs> when you were doing the Mario. You want to know how I got these scars? <laughs> <laughs> Just Heath Ledger. If you guys want to have a Joe Swanson, Swanson, whatever, voice actor, just hire Ryan. Hey, Fader, got an handicapped accessible lawnmower I can borrow. If you guys enjoyed this week's video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Type in the comments below, hashtag happy birthday, Brian, or is it yours in the back? <laughs> you guys have a great rest of the week, and we will see you guys later. Say bye. 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 All right, now I'm... <laughs> All right, so now I'm going to use the black paint here. Uh, da, da. Uh. Okay, so now I'm going to use the black paint. <laughs> Damn it. I hate myself. Once that's done, I dry brush a little bit more black just around the eyes so I can kind of give it uh, a little bit more of a dirtier look. So it looks like he's... Yeah, he's got a bitch in his ass. <laughs>